Greetings everybody. I am Fujat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Fujat and today we are going to talk about labor and stages of labor. A very interesting topic of gynecology. So let's first talk about that what actually labor is. So labor is basically a physiological process by which fetus is expelled from uterus to outside. It is basically a sequential changes. Sequential changes that occur in uterine tube and myometrium. So these sequential changes will collectively we says that this is labor. It's basically a physiological process that occur in the birth, delivery of placenta phenomena and signal to start the lactation. We also say it is, it is a labor. So whenever we are discussing it, we should remember three important P's, a triple P's, which is first is for power which involve maternal contractions that if maternal contractions aren't occurring, occurring so how baby is going to be expelled from mother to outside so these are important the contractions passage is uh, the passage is basically as its name shows passage is basically the passageway of baby that either there is any anomaly or abnormality in that passageway so we should examine that in that we have cephalopelvic disproportion and fibroid uterus. In this case, fibroid uterus, there is a minimized chance. There is no chance of normal delivery. And in cephalopelvic disproportion, a basically a distortion in shape of pelvis is going to be occur. And in case of third P, we have passenger, which says that a baby either it is transverse life or footling breach or either a macroscopy, fetal macroscopy is going to be occur. So, in this, we should examine the position of baby simply. Now, talking about the stages of labor, we have four stages of labor. Our first stage is basically from start of labor till 10 centimeter dilation. We have two further division of it. One is active, other one is latent or passive. Latent or passive basically from start to 4 cm dilation and active is from 4 to 10 cm dilation. Latent or passive is basically a slow process from start to 4 cm it is a slow while active as its name shows it is an active process of dilation from 4 to 6 cm 4 to 10 cm dilation. So in case of active there is a one in one or there is one centimeter dilation going to be occur and in two to six hours the whole phenomena of active dilation in first stage of labor is going to be complete. In case of nulli para female it takes 18 hours or more to complete the first stage phenomena of labor and in case of multi para female it is 12 hours to complete the first stage of labor. When we talk about the second stage of labor, second stage is basically from 10 cm dilation till delivery of fetus. It also divide into two stages, two sub stages, one is active and other one is passive. Active is involving a maternal urge to push the baby outside, while in case of passive there is no maternal urge, while there is strong and involuntary contractions that are urging mother to push the baby from uh, body to outside and the active process took in multi para female one hour and in nulli para it took two hours to complete in case of third stage of labor when you talk about the third stage of labor so it is basically from delivery of fetus to delivery of placenta it simply took five minutes but in some cases in reality it took 30 minutes also for the completion. In case of fourth stage of labor is basically several hours after deletion, after delivery. Adaptation to blood loss, we, we basically check some adaptations that either there is any reactions or any anomaly that is going to be occur in that. So from start to uterine involution, refer time of delivery of placenta and one hour after it 
we simply check in fourth stage heart rate blood pressure and we say that there either there is any occlusion bleeding or postpartum bleeding hemorrhage so we check these conditions we check these anomalies either they are occurring or either the patient is normal so if this normal we will discharge after some time so guys this is our basic lecture basic discussion on labor and its stages hope you all understand it don't forget subscribe my course lectures by shuja thank you so much